had no idea there was a place like this, deep within the ice. These ancient ruins were created by God for confinement. Alphonse, we can't turn back from here. Are you ready? Yes, let's get moving. This spear has been reacting to this place. Don't forget to bring the sacred spear. It must be some kind of key. Why couldn't you have understood? Be gone. I won't let you confuse me anymore. You are not... Why do you deceive me? Alphonse, what's wrong? There's no one there. What are you saying, Eleanor? Look, right there. Shahir? Liar. The angel Shahir fell into his sleep before losing his beautiful appearance. You are very knowledgeable, beautiful one. Correct. This form is only temporary. I still require more strength to break this to break free of the seal. Sorrow, jealousy, these dismal emotions give me strength. So, will you fight against the woman who betrayed you? I won't be deceived by your illusions any longer. <laughs> he is so lively. But it will make no difference. Mikhail, guide their souls into darkness. We should split up from here. One group will head for the garden, and the other will take the central stairs that lead to the tower. Well, what do you think? The light from the sacred sphere is pointing upward. The fallen angel must be sealed in, in the top of the tower. I'm afraid I have some bad news. White and black winged creatures have been sighted up there. Fighting at such heights, they'll have the advantage. We'll have to make sure that we watch our footing. Anyway, let's divide up the troops and head towards the top while investigating along the way. Let's be careful how we split our forces. We'll have one group wait here. You organize the troops. We'll leave as soon as you're done. You're the leader here, but I'm afraid of fighting. I'm not afraid of fighting, but I am scared of not having you by my side. When you divide up the troops, please don't separate us. Alphonse, you heard his voice too, right? Maybe it wasn't a voice. It was more like a feeling. The feeling of being alone. Like this cold air around me. Does that make any sense? Whatever it was, you don't need to worry. I'll be with you, and we'll leave here together. Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tactics Ogre, The Night of Lotus. After getting the little bit of ceremony out of the way of the... For, of the uh, minor differences that I forgot to post, we have the choice of Hall of Corruption versus Garden of Memories. 
I am going to be tackling Hall of Corruption first. Uh, give me one moment. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Once I get in here, I need one moment to explain a few know? things. Basically, I promised that I would show the difference of the fire crest versus the strongest piece of armor that I have, which would be the Leviathan Mail, Nathalork Mail, or Phoenix Mail. Look at that significant difference. Now, I had the Leviathan Mail equipped to him, which gave him the best fire resistance. However, the fire crest, you can find it here. Gives you 90 defense, 15 spell defense, physical resistance of 30, wind resistance of 30, fire resistance, earth resistance, water resistance, virtue resistance, and bane resistance of 30. That is a significant decrease in damage, which is why I like having it equipped. Um, one other thing is I typically take on this battle with just Alphonse and Eleanor. It's a very quick battle, very easy to do, and there's nothing at all to pick up. Uh, however, there is special dialogue with Lobelia, and I am showing the special dialogue. However, I need Lobelia both for this battle and the next, so I will be showing um, first the battle with just Alphonse and Eleanor, and then the addition of Lobelia. Uh, so, uh, give me just one moment to make sure that I have everything equipped that I want equipped. Okay, I have everything out of the way, so let's get started. Welcome to Lord Shahir's realm. We have been waiting for you. Your life will be sacrificed in his honor. Basically, what you want to do, and what I made sure of, is that Alphonse has the amulet, and Eleanor has her pearl necklace, because that protects from abnormal status effects, and with these gorgons here, that is very important. Um, let's go over the enemies right quick, because they can be dangerous. Rayheart, oh, he has some dangerous equipment, and he also has some dangerous spells, which is why I like the high defense and magic resistance that Alphonse and Eleanor have. The two Dark Angels are not recruitable, and they have some pretty dangerous equipment themselves. The Gorgons, they can be recruited. The only one that I really have any interest in is that one right there. However, for whatever reason, I've never had any luck getting the recruited characters during the final five maps to actually save. So I don't know. I don't typically go after anybody. The two Swordmasters. Swordmasters are dangerous in general, but Alphonse. And, of course, a uh, Yitra. It's a big loss of moral, but no big deal there. So, let's get this started. There are no hidden treasures on this map, and it's basically a matter of just dealing as much damage as you can as quickly as possible. Probably should attack him this turn, but I'm not too ter terribly concerned with it. Because Star Tier does a massive amount of damage, and I like using it whenever possible. Now, one thing that I will mention is the only reason that one Gorgon is interesting for me is because of the uh, Abyssal Rose that she has equipped. But this one might turn. I 
like I said, this map is very easy. This is one of the easier maps in the game, and Eleanor gets to end it. Lord Shahir, accept my pain for your sustenance. Fallen Angel will surely try to reclaim Lunch at Colonus. When the time comes, we must be prepared to defeat him. We're almost there. Be careful. God, the love in my heart is true. Is that also a sin? Now normally this is where I would move on to the Garden of Memories, but like I said, I want to show off a uh, special dialogue with Lobelia. So give me just one moment. Are you taking the human side, warrior of heaven? Why do you cooperate with them? You must sense it, the undeniable signs, the dark power. He is a supreme being, uniting light and shadow. Let us celebrate the birth of an omnipotent ruler. He is just a sinner who disobeyed God. I'll be his judge with my sword of light. <laughs> with your strength? Tomboy, your recklessness will be your ruin. Soon, you will realize the difference between us. You are taking the human side even though you belong to the netherworld? Surely you sense it. Soon. He who fell from the light will reveal his true form. Why don't you celebrate the birth of a magnificent demon with me? The birth of a demon? <laughs> I'm not interested. Victory on the battlefield is my ultimate joy. You lesser minions are so ignorant. You appreciate your, your appetite for battle will be your ruin. Soon. You'll realize the difference between us.